Hi, this is Rafika from Mika's blog. Today's agenda, what is Amazon RDS, types of engine for Amazon RDS, cost of Amazon RDS, then how Amazon RDS works. It we'll starts with what is Amazon RDS. Amazon RDS is nothing but a relational database services. It's a web service that makes it easier to set up, operate and scale a relational database in the AWS cloud. It provides cost-effective, resizable capacity for an industry standard relational database and manages common database administrative tasks. Now we will see these types of engine for Amazon RDS. So we have uh, these types of engines which helps, uh, helps us to operate this Amazon RDS. Examples are like MariaDB, Amazon Aurora, Oracle, Microsoft SQL uh, Server, PostgreSQL, then MySQL. These are all the engines which helps the Amazon RDS to operate it in a smooth way. Now we will see the cost of Amazon RDS. The cost is declared with the help of these parameters like uh, in what way we are just choosing the instance class, the running time, then storage capacity, then input output request per month, then backup storage. These are all the parameters which helps the RDS to decide or forecast the cost of RDS. Then now we will see the, how Amazon RDS works. This is how the, the architecture uh, looks like. Uh, in AWS cloud, uh, we, sh we should have a VPC that is virtual private cloud. Inside that, we will be having a, uh, a region. Inside the region, we will be seeing the availability zones. In the availability zones, we will be having a public submit and private submit. Public submit is the web server. We will consider it as an EC2 instance and as a web server. Then inside that, we will be in the availability zone. The same way, we will be having a private submit that is holding the database server. So it should not directly reach through internet. It should not access in a public way. So that is the reason why we, the database server is kept inside the private subnet. So then the routing through of the uh, public subnet and the internet access, then the backup, the read replicas, then the uh, RDS sleeve. So these type of uh, process flow with the help of the security group so this is how this Amazon RDS works, how it's reaching the public segment and how it's coming back and retrieving the data like that the, the flow of work takes place in this way. This is like a little technical way. So now I'm just going to show you a simple, a, a simple flow shot like the client is uh, passing the uh, request via the fireway, firewall and the internet gateway which is available in AWS, then it has to reach through the uh, VPC, then uh, public subnet, inside that you will be having a security group which is, uh, which is able to allow, allow the user or the client, then with the parameters which is eligible, then it will reach the RDS database instance. This is the workflow like how it's going to reach the RDS, RDS instance then how, how the communication uh, coming back to the client the response thank you